Sometimes cartoons made no sense at all, and we found some of the funniest, like SpongeBob, who lives underwater, is wearing a fishbowl, but also blowing a bubble. How is he doing these things? Tom and Jerry decided that they wear no clothes normally, but when they go to the beach, they will wear clothes. It's like they're living in some upside down reality. The Simpsons is 28 years old, and Apu's child, as you can see here, is growing up. I mean, he's literally holding a shotgun. He may not be 28, but I'll put his age at maybe seven years old. And then on the right here, Maggie, who surely should be growing up at the exact same rate. She's got a dummy in her mouth. I mean, honestly, I don't even think she's one years old. She never ages in The Simpsons. Oh no, the Smurfs have been trapped. Wait a second. Even with their legs stretched out and the widest width of their head, they would be able to fit through these metal bars and escape easily. It's the worst prison ever. I mean, look at her. She's using their bars like a window. Just walk out of it. Wait, 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 wait. Both of them are dogs, but one of them is the pet and one of them is the owner. How did I never think of this? Dude. It's like this woman walking this guy in the lead. I don't know what's going on here. Let's not question it. But that's how weird these two are. I'll never see them the same again. Eek! It's a mouse! Okay, now I'm starting to question Mickey Mouse and all of the characters. First a dog walking a dog and then a mouse scared of a mouse. It's like us walking down the street and getting scared that there are humans everywhere. Snow White logic finds a random corpse because she is technically dead at this point and decides to kiss it. Saying that out loud makes it so much weirder. Pokemon! I love Pokemon. One does not simply recognize... T oh, wait, you're telling me that Ash and Pikachu don't recognize Jesse and James just because they got little glasses on. Look at that hair. There's no mistaking who these people are. And they're trying to steal your Pikachu. If you love Pokemon like me, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know. Oh, no. Spider-Man has been locked up by this evil man and evil woman. A knife on one side, a gun on another. How's he gonna escape? Wait a second. If you look at this, he's absolutely fine. They never tied up his arms. They literally just put a strap around his chest. I mean, don't get me wrong. You don't want to mess with people with knives and guns, but he's Spider-Man. Just web sling out of there. Shh. We can't wake him up. The Powerpuff Girls are tiptoeing by. I mean, firstly, who sleeps with their door wide open? And secondly, all three of these can fly. They don't need to be tiptoeing around. They could literally go in the air and zip by at a million miles an hour. But maybe you would hear that. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Donald Duck, as you can see here, perfectly fine. But notice, he has nothing on the lower half of him. That's his choice. Absolutely fine. But as soon as he removes his top... He suddenly becomes aware that his bottom half is uncovered. Mate, I hate to tell you, but that's always showing. Celebrated Christmas before the birth of Christ. Wait, 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 wait. This begs the question, when is the Flintstones meant to be set? Flintstones was set in 10,000 BC. Thousands of years before Christmas trees were even used, maybe they could just predict the future. So we can see here, this bird is carrying a giant rhino. It's the best rhino you're getting. But on the right, when he tries to save Simba, he can barely pull his tail. Come on, man. Put some strength into those wings. We know how strong you really are. They wear masks, not like they're... <laughs> Wait, that's such a good point. Why have they got masks on their eyes when they're literally two-toed, mutantly muscular ninja turtle? There ain't no hiding from that. Wait a second. This is poor Lisa and Bart dead in The Simpsons. You can see their eyes... Would have gone here. Their teeth, their skeleton, all make sense. But if we look at their heads, their hair is literally part of their skeleton. So does that mean the hair just grows on the oddly shaped skull? I wonder everyone in the show has weird hairstyles. What kind of science is this? What do you mean? She's dipping some prawns in some juicy sauce, but wait a second. She's holding two chopsticks with one hand. Hey, that's like me taking these two pencils. I did it. I can pick things up too. Okay, there's so much wrong with this image. The first thing I'm noticing is, I mean, the pigs just look weird. And they also have no clothes on the bottom half. This pig's head is literally turned the complete opposite way to the rest of his body and is freaking me out. But the worst thing of it all is the fact that they've hung their father up on the wall as sausages. That's awful. If we take a look at these images, big teeth, orange hair, glasses, 
Blue hair. Afro hair. Similar lips. Yet they're not brother or sister. They are husband and wife. Which, when you think about it, is actually a little bit weird. How does this kid put his shirt on? <laughs> Wait a second. How does he put his shirt on? If he tries to put it over here, it will stretch out and then snap on his extremely pointy nose. Maybe he just never takes the t-shirt off. This is classic cartoon physics. Person runs out and should fall straight away. But they hang there until their eyes look down and then they fall to the bottom. Imagine gravity only worked if you look down. Oh, look how cute the little duckies are. Wait, 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 wait. They were cute until I noticed they're eating chicken eggs and they are eating literal chicken. It's like I was eating humans. I'm just saying that's really weird. Learns English from English girl. Yes. Has an American accent. Wait, really? I didn't think he ever talked. If James stays with Tarzan. He actually does have an American accent. That makes no sense. Oh, this, this is the worst of the worst. SpongeBob, you've done it again. Oh, yes. We live in the ocean under the sea. Lots of bubbles because you're underwater. That's how you exist. Yet yeah, here they are, the giant flame underwater. I'm starting to question everything I've ever known about SpongeBob. Wait, 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 wait. How is he holding a cigar? There's nothing wrong with how he's holding a cigar. He's got, he's got two fingers. What is wrong is the fact that the cigar's going up his nose and not anywhere near his mouth. <laughs> Scooby-Doo, you didn't pack the luggage? Like, what's the big deal? We all wear the same outfits every single day. It's a really good point. And now I'm starting to wonder why they never age and why they never wear any different clothes either. Are the characters even real? Bugs Bunny shaving his beard. Mate, if you shave your beard, aren't you going to literally take off all of your fur? Like all of this is just going to be skin. Animals have skin under their fur. Let's give him a break. He obviously looks very tired. He doesn't realize what he's doing. Oh, yes. Arthur with headphones. Arthur with head... What? His ears are here. His headphones are here. It's like me wearing these headphones like, like this and expecting to hear the audio through my neck. Nobody in the whole kingdom has the same shoe size. That's a very good point. In Cinderella, they could take the shoe and some random guy or girl could fit the shoe and they're like, yes, you're the one. They just got the same shoe size. Dora the Explorer, multilingual at age four. Very impressive. Can't locate things next to her. <laughs> Dora the Explorer is a talented one. Look, I can only speak English and a little bit of German. Hallo, ich heiße Alia und ich bin sehr gut. That's as much as I know. Hey, girls, let's play rock, paper, scissors for it. No problem. Love a bit of rock, paper, scissors. Oh, yes. That is obviously scissors. That's rock and that's... Pa I mean, honestly... Joking aside, it all just looks like they put down paper. No one's ever winning this game. SpongeBob, you're back again. He's washing the dishes in the ocean. In fact, how does any water exist when they're living in a bubble of water? My brain is hurting. Oh, yes, Dexter's laboratory. How did his parents not know about his secret lab? That electricity bill must have been so high. Imagine having a giant lab just under your house and never realizing. If Beauty and the Beast teaches us one thing, it's that looks don't matter. As long as you keep her locked up long enough. Is that actually what happens? He just locks her up and then she eventually falls in love with him. Okay, that that's a little bit weird. I don't think we should be doing that, people. If a slipper was the perfect fit... Yes, yes, yes. We all know she's got the perfect foot. This is what her feet look like, by the way. But how did it slip off? That's such a good point. Maybe the slipper was actually too big for her. She was never meant to wear it in the first place. Is naked all day long, but afraid to be seen in the past. <laughs> Trying to steal a useless Pikachu for 10 years. Yet they don't care about the only Pokemon, Meowth, that can actually talk in the whole of Pokemon. I mean, honestly, if they capitalized on this guy, they would be having money, money, money come at them, but no. All they want is that freaking Pikachu. They had a gold mine sitting in front of them. Flies a plane. That's impressive. Is a bird. <laughs> well, I mean, humans can walk, but we still use a car, to be fair. Never wears a shirt, always has a tan line. Can't even answer that. And that's why cartoons are just so wrong sometimes. If you know, you know the nostalgic Pokemon intro. Well, actually, Bulbasaur's holding Butterfree, who's flying. Pikachu's riding Pidiotto. And how is Zubat holding Squirtle? He's Zubat's got no legs. In fact, Zubat's leg things are here. 
They're not even touching him. Squirtle, you're about to fall to your doom, my friend. I hate to say it. Father? Crap. Daughter? Giant whale. How does that happen? Can't even tell you. And I don't even want to know. SpongeBob can barely lift soda. <laughs> Just literally trying to lift two cans. Flawlessly lifts a car with one hand. He means this, this all happens in the same scene. He's got the same clothes on. Does anyone notice this guy's moustache is in the wrong place? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> His moustache should be here. Let me fix it for him. I'm just going to get rid of this for you. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Does that look better or worse? What do you reckon? Oh, yes, Aladdin. I shall not step on the magical carpet because it could be unsafe. But at the same time, I have a giant tiger as a pet. I mean, honestly, your life is constantly in danger. If only Brian could reach... Wait, 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 wait. Who's driving? Okay, the pedal's in the car. Probably about here. Brian's feet. The body. The leg here. Yeah, you ain't reaching the pedals, mate. Unless he's got a long stick to connect them. Kidnapped by monster. Yeah, we saw that earlier. The big grizzly thing that she falls in love with. Befriends his furniture. <laughs> Imagine just becoming best friends with a wardrobe. Raised in the jungle by apes. How in the world is he shaved? Okay, I was gonna say they aren't very hairy, but let's be real. He's living with a load of animals. He's gotta be hairy. Maybe the sun burns off all of his... I don't know. Father wields a mighty trident. Stay back, for my trident is pat. That's the worst trident I've ever drawn. Amazed by a fork. <laughs> How is that special? Look at this, look at this crazy trident. Be impressed. Snow White finds an abandoned cottage, decides to clean it. Mate, you can't even get me to clean my own house, let alone an abandoned cottage. Though the animals are super cute. Anime logic. Yelling makes you stronger. <laughs> I think I've just annoyed the neighbors doing that. I don't feel much stronger. In The Little Mermaid, she must make a stranger fall in love with her in three days or sell my soul to a sea witch. This is a sea witch, by the way. Gotta admit, I did not remember that she literally has octopus legs. That's kind of creepy. Hey, it's me, Clark Kent. I've got glasses on. Take them off. Oh, wait. Who, who's that? It's, it's Superman. I could never tell. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm not sure who this is anymore. He's got the glasses on. Hey, it could be anyone. Taking bath underwater. Again, look, I'm just going to say it. How is there water flowing in a whole underwater place? Most powerful Pokemon in the world punches it. Look, it was a stupid idea, but it... To be fair to Pokemon, it didn't work. Also, punching Pokemon is just generally not a good idea. Wait, now nah, this is actually, this is actually mad. Take a look at this picture. What's wrong with it? And now take a look at this and now realize that it's not attached to any clothing. It's like me waking up in the morning and just putting a sleeve on my arm, but I don't have a t-shirt on. Why, SpongeBob? Aquaman is riding on fish being pulled by flying fish. Thank God Aquaman doesn't look like that anymore. How funny would it be though if in an Aquaman film, he just starts riding on a fish. Maybe he does. I've actually never seen the film before. Oh, Arthur, come on. First of all, you're wearing earphones here. Let's just recreate that for a second. There goes the earphones. And now I'm just realizing that these glasses should technically go up here because those are his ears. So how are they connected on the sides? Technically, that's how his glasses should look. They don't even look that weird, to be honest. It kind of works. Listens to music with his... Uh, it gets worse. First, he's listening to music through his neck. And now cartoons are listening to music through eyes. Yes. What a, what a banger. I love this track. Oh, yes. My cupboard and time travel. I want to know what's in that time travel stuff box, to be fair. But wait a second. What's this coming out of his... Coat. Oh, yes, of course, a giant fire extinguisher just in my pocket. Oh, yes, look at this fearful giant tiger. No, he's a lion. He's a lion. And what's he eating? A giant bug. To be fair, that bug is probably filled with protein. Maybe he's a vegan lion. As if Cinderella couldn't get any worse. This is the fella trying to find her. The only thing he's got is a shoe. And guess what? He can't remember what she looks like and has to put everyone's feet in the shoe. Imagine, you're on a night out. You see a girl you like and all you have is a shoe. I don't think many people are going to be happy if you just start shoving the shoe on their feet. Disney, teaching you not to talk to strangers unless they're hot. What can I say? Cartoons make no sense, but we absolutely love them. Click here to watch another video that will expose your favorite cartoons with secrets that you never knew. Quickly click it. I'm about to disappear.